seen here from South Philly to downtown Phoenix, the lively Chase Field, the Snake Pit. Look out! And even though it's 100 degrees outside, the roof is all closed up. The AC is blasting. Yes, the pool is open, and the volume is up. Nearly 50,000 on hand to see this one here this afternoon. Welcome to game three of the 2023 National League Championship Series. The Philadelphia Phillies up two games to none over the Arizona Diamondbacks. Great scene here. It's the first time in 16 years they have hosted a championship series. Normally that would be the story, but Jeff, these Phillies, what they're doing this postseason, they've grabbed all the headlines and it is historic in nature. Just turned 25. He carries a heavy burden here this afternoon. Brandon fought been a workhorse this year. He has posted Ronnie everywhere he's been whether that be triple-a or the big leagues Phillies have been a freight train in this postseason and Schwarber in the LCS has been right at the top of the list in this first inning what a start knife to sweeper in there Schwarber strikes out and this game three opens up with a backwards K sinker on the corner fastball up and in and a sweeper there down and in right on the corner right at the knees here's Trey Turner who homered second batter in the other night as Turner just keeps on hitting a little broken bat single in the right center you got to keep the ball down you got to keep the ball away from these hitters and if that's the worst case that's what you give up you can live with that here's Bryce Harper now is in his 45th postseason game in his career and a ground ball right side let's see if they can get two out at second back to first double play Marte two per double to Walker and the Phillies are retired to the first inning. A strikeout, a single, and a double play ends the inning. And the lefty Ranger Suarez. Man, has he been terrific the last two seasons when it counts the most, Ronnie. He has been fantastic, but he's just trying to continue what the starting pitching has done so far. Marte moves from second to the leadoff spot. He's hitting all seven games of this year's postseason, and he's up there hacking. Oh, nice play, Bohm. And Bohm's throw is a good one. Alec Bohm has turned in some defensive gems already in this series I'll tell you what he is making every single play that ball gets down it's a double for Marte and give him a lot of credit here is Corbin Carroll he moves down a spot in the order with the lefty on the mound it's Carroll a swing at him as Ranger Suarez wipes him out that's a big pitch for him the change up and two men are away two and two the cow with two outs three. and that's a called strike three and Ranger Suarez off to a good start. Back to back K's in a three up, three down first inning. One down. His left handed hitting Bryson Stott, the second baseman. And the payoff. And he struck him out. Stott, a big swing at a miss. That fastball just dancing. Again, you haven't seen Stott go out of the zone too much. He did that one for a big out. So Alec Bohm in the dugout already working the iPad. He's checking out these pitches, the sequencing here. JT Real Muto now. Swing at a miss. He got him. Got him on the sweeper. Third strikeout for Fott, who goes in order against Philadelphia in the second inning. One, two, three. Suarez off to a good start. Three up, three down with two Ks as he faces Christian Walker here to start the second inning. Oh, and two the count. Suarez deals. A little half swing. Suarez is a supreme defender. Knocks that one down and makes the play. Walker is retired four in a row for Ranger Suarez. Tommy Pham gets a start in right field for this game three. three. And a called strike three. Pham is rung up. And now two men are gone here for Lourdes Guriel. From 3-0 to 3-2. Guriel in the air. Shallow center field. Falling fast. And this one is down. And the first hit for the Diamondbacks is a two-out flare single by Guriel. Stott almost made that play. First ball swinging Evan Longoria right off the end of the bat Suarez flips one over to first to end the inning the Diamondbacks get a hit leave a runner will head to the third Brandon fought back to work facing Nick Castellanos see what he does here 2 2 and he rips that fastball right by Castellanos third consecutive strikeout and he picks up a K to start this third inning there's Brandon Marsh now the left fielder left handed hitter Marsh rips that one into right center and it gets by fam he'll hold up at second with a double and now the throw gets away Marsh stays put Brandon Marsh he's been hot that's his third hit of this NLCS and it's a one out double Owen oh, to the count to Rojas and he chased one down he goes 
See a red here. Diamondback red with those towels waving at the ballpark. Sell out crowd. And they're trying to help fight along. He's ready. And the pitch to Schwarber. Hit high and deep, hooking down the line. It's going to be a foul ball. Oh, my. That was a towering drive on a breaking ball, but hit it long, but hit it foul. And Schwarber takes a cold strike three. Back door to that time. Brandon Fott joins Randy Johnson as the only Diamondbacks pitchers to have six or more strikeouts in the first three innings of a postseason game. Good vibes of that 2001 World Series championship team. That'd be a good place to start. Number 51. Here's Perdomo now who will bat right hand of the switch hitter. And Suarez rings the bell. A strikeout for Ranger Suarez. That's number four. Three of the four have been looking. Marte didn't. He hit that first pitch, a, a smash yeah. that Bohm made a great play. And now Marte lines out with left field line down, and to the wall it goes. And he's in with a two out double. His hitting streak in postseason play is now at 12 in a row. He has never not had a hit in a playoff game. Corbin Carroll trying to drive him in, a bouncer to Bohm. And that will retire the side. Ranger Suarez is up for it. He's only given up the two hits. He's got four K's, and we are scoreless. That was a very easy inning for Brandon Fox. A developing story here with the rookie right-hander at a seven-pitch inning. And the Phillies are down in order in the top of the fourth inning. And the first walk issued by Suarez, a base runner with one out. Tommy Pham. Swing and a miss. He got him with a breaking ball. Five strikeouts for Suarez, two outs here in the fourth inning. Lourdes Gurriel at the plate, and a swing and a bouncing ball to Turner. Turner slings one across the diamond, and that's the inning. Ranger Suarez strands a runner. This is the first game this postseason throughout both leagues in the postseason where it's been scoreless through the first four innings. I mean, besides a runner a couple times in scoring position, it's been dominating by both guys. Fought, and Suarez have been excellent. And a swing and a miss, and fought. Keeps the pedal down. Eight strikeouts. Five shutout innings. And one away for Rivera. Rivera yes! half swing. He goes. Suarez strikes him out on the curve. Six Ks now for Ranger Suarez. Two up and two down in the fifth. Geraldo Perdomo at the plate. Three. And a called strike three. Suarez caught him guessing. Ranger Suarez turned it into a big game pitcher the last two years. Brandon Fott pitching the game of his professional life. Five scoreless. Eight strikeouts. A new career best in the major leagues for this rookie. And a swing and a miss. Fod with a sinker. Big movement on that fastball. Strikeout number nine. A new career high for strikeouts in a game, and he does it in game three. And how about that? He does it in 67 pitches. Locked in. Rojas into center field. Hit well. Carroll is there for it. Just shy of the warning track. And you can hear the boo birds coming out. Tori Lavello has made up his mind. The computer says don't have him face Schwarber for a third time. And Fott is out of this game. A pitching change with two outs in the sixth. Hey, listen, it's the kind of moves that managers the last three, four, five years have had to live with. They just have this scripted feel for what they want to happen. The problem is you have a kid who's pitching the game of his life who has already struck out Schwarber two times. Saul Frank enters to face Schwarber. Well, and Saul Frank misses and Schwarber draws the walk. Two out walk. Phillies have their first base runner since the third inning. Now you get Turner a favorable matchup. And then Harper after that. Turner hot one to third. Picked up. Rivera makes a play. Saul Frank comes in, does the job, and we're midway in inning number six. Ranger Suarez starts his sixth inning, and Marte, high drive, left center, long run, it's off the top of the wall. Marte with a belly flop double. Marte's second double of game three. And now Carroll, and he breaks his back. Stott makes a play, Suarez right there, and out at first. What a play. Oh, my goodness. The most difficult connection there is Stott to Suarez for out number one. Marte does advance to third base. Ranger Suarez is the only left-handed starting pitcher in the game 
that could beat Corbin Carroll to the base. And that's going to be the end for Ranger Suarez. Thompson's going to his bullpen as the Diamondbacks threaten with a runner at third and one out. Hoffman hits the seventh inning in game two. His first batter faced was Moreno. He struck him out. One and two the count. Hoffman deals in a swing at a miss. He struck him out. Big out for Hoffman and the Phillies. He's had this role all season long and he has been excellent in it. Two outs now. Runner at third for Christian Walker. On the ground right to Turner. Turner puts him away. The leadoff double does not score thanks to Bryson Stott and Jeff Hoffman. And now Ryan Thompson on the mound with a runner at first and nobody out in the seventh. Alec Bohm steps in with Harper at first. First ball swinging. Little jam shot roll at a third. No play. Bohm with an infield hit. And the Phillies have runners at first and second with nobody out in the seventh. Stott on the ground. Chance for two here. Taylor made. Perdomo to first and a 6-3 double play ball on a 3-1 pitch. Two big outs with one swing of the bat for Ryan Thompson. Right at Perdomo, easy double play. You could have turned two on that ball in your suit, Frenchy. <laughs> now two gone, runner at third. No balls and a strike. And he throws it back to the screen. Comes back hot. Play at the plate. No! Harper's in there. Harper scores on a wild pitch. And the Phillies lead it one to nothing in the seventh inning. Nothing Moreno could do there. That was the wildest pitch. Yep. Where was that pitch? My goodness, that was wide. Lead off single. And the Diamondbacks have the tying run aboard to start this seventh inning. Alec Thomas coming in the ball game. So Pham is out. Lourdes Gurriel stands in, representing the go-ahead run here in the seventh. And he pulls that one. It's past Bohm. Down into the corner. Thomas is flying around third. The throw is cut off, and this game is tied. Lourdes Gurriel, an RBI double in the seventh inning. Guys, the first ball we've seen all series get by Alec Baum. He has made every single play, and that one snuck through. I mean, Alec Thomas, what a move by Lavello. Pinch running for Tommy Pham. Pham does not score on that ball. B.A., you need to do your hair like that. Big head. You can, you can wear it any way you yes. want when you deliver like that. That's right. Three consecutive hits for the Diamondbacks. First and third, nobody out. Jose Alvarado will come on to try to put the fire out. Nobody out, seventh inning. First and third on the ground. Turner goes to second. Get the out there. Throw to first in time. The Phillies turn a double play. Well, normally you're running from third to avoid the double play, but the Phillies with their infield in still get a 6-4-3 double play. Just don't see that hardly ever. Wow. Two outs now, runner at third. Perdomo, Alvarado knocks it down, recovers, lobs one to Harper, stays on the bag, and the inning is over. Alvarado, as he does so often, puts the fire out. And it is Kevin Ginkle on the mound for Arizona. One, two, three inning with two Ks. The Phillies saving more heroics for the ninth, perhaps. Alvarado, in the regular season, was asked to pitch a multi-inning outing one time. This is his fifth time already. Line drive out for Carroll, second out of the inning. There's Gabby Moreno. In the center field, Rojas back at the track. He's at the wall, he missed it! It's off the fence! Moreno into second base with a double. A center fielder who has never played a game in this ballpark. And he missed it. And the Diamondbacks have the go-ahead run at second base with two outs. They're going to walk Walker intentionally here. And Alec Thomas is going to come up lefty on lefty. Stott in front of it, scoops it up, sets his feet, fires to first. And that ends the inning. No runs, one hit. Two left stranded by the Diamondbacks, and we are going to the ninth. The Diamondbacks closer is on the mound in this tie game run. Harper is on. He carries the go-ahead run here in the ninth inning. Two outs and bring Bone to the plate. Goes again. The one-two is low, and Moreno does not bother. So it's a stolen base for Harper with two outs. And that one just missed. Looked to be a good strike. I saw you didn't see it that way. A break for Bohm. The count is three and two now. And the spinner is in there. A called strike three. Seawall just kept pouring in the strikes. 
What a pitch in a moment. Whew. A leadoff walk to start the bottom of the ninth. A great way to start this inning. So he's been on three times today. Now the batter is Paven Smith. Here comes Kimbrell. Smith on the ground. Big hole over there. Backhanded by Stott. He's got no play. Now you got guys in first and third. You got nobody out. It's prime walk-off time. And Rivera will be the hitter. And a hot one. Turner gloves it. Throws to the plate. The tag. And he is. Haven't tagged him yet. Now he gets him. He's out. Missed him the first time. Turner with an excellent play. They cut down Guriel at the plate. One away in this ninth inning. And the Diamondbacks have runners at first and second. One out now. And the batter will be Perdomo. Kimbrell fires. And it's ball four. Perdomo draws the walk. The bases are loaded. And the Diamondbacks' hottest hitter is coming up. Kimbrell deals an 0-1. That's into center field. It's down. In the score is Smith. And the Diamondbacks walk off the Phillies in game three. Cattell Marte takes a victory lap. And the Diamondbacks are alive and well with the National League Championship Series. They win game three. They come back home. They beat the Phillies 2-1 to one on a walk-off by Marte.